Yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, um, uh, attending this presentation. I am presenting today um, uh, the improving or uh, the improving investment outcomes through effective decision making. Uh, the case of uh, Oman research. Uh, before I start this, uh, my name is Saeed Al Madari. I'm a PhD student at Modern College of Business and Science. Um, I'm working uh, in the technology sector for the past 24 uh, years. Uh, I'm currently holding the position of a group CEO for ITCA Group. It's an ICT group uh, of an investments. Uh, before that, I was uh, working as a CEO of a broadband company. And before that, I was working in the private sector on the technology uh, domain. Um, I am um, a master uh, degree holder uh, from uh, um, Kent University. And uh, I have done executive management uh, program in Berkeley uh, University in 2018. Um, in my uh, uh, research, I will go through um, uh, first uh, uh, the introduction and the gap or the research gap. Uh, and I will go through uh, all the research elements up to the recommendation, going through the research question, conceptual framework, the research methodology, and then the analysis and discussion. So basically, um, if, if we talk about investment decision making, it's um, it's an important element in any of the economic. Uh, the economy of the countries are very well linked to the investments and the amount and the decision made uh, upon the investments. The sustainable finance uh, finance market grow by ten percent uh, as per the World Investment Report in uh, twenty twenty three uh, to reach uh, to five point eight trillion in twenty twenty two. Um, and this is um, um, a, a real demonstration that uh, investment decision is very crucial uh, to be um, uh, carried out or the process of investment is very crucial for any uh, country. The annual investment gap needed to meet these, uh, the goals of the uh, development of the, uh, the, the social development of the countries are widening year to year. Uh, it have reached uh, um, from 2015 to $4 tri trillion. Uh, dollar. And this is as per the World uh, Investment Report. Now, uh, the need of this investment decision um, uh, comes uh, in the other side of the importance of having a, a robust investment decision making process. And uh, the negative impact of this process can uh, affect the outcome of the investments. Some of these lacks could be a lack of uh, structured decision frameworks, um, could result to uh, bad investment decisions and bad investment outcomes. Poor handling of, uh, of disagreement and uncertainties uh, could as well um, result in, uh, in, in a bad decisions. And a behavior biases could affect as well the uh, decision making process. Uh, additionally, a role of heuristics uh, in investment decision making uh, plays. Um, a very um, um, tangible effects on uh, the decision making process. So the research aimed to investigate the effectiveness of the investment decision making process uh, adopted in Oman uh, uh, as a case study. We are applying this to uh, my uh, company or my group uh, as a case study in Oman and her, ex exploring how these uh, processes are structured and their effectiveness in achieving favorable uh, investment outcomes based on uh, the variables which we will study in this research. So the research question is, to what extent do the uh, pre-assessment uh, deal sourcing, so this is the first phase, opportunity assessment, due, uh, due diligence, and deal closing stages influence the effectiveness, uh, effectiveness of investment decision making within ITCA group. Through the research, uh, the literature review, review, we have identified the stages of the uh, decision making process, which is very important to make the process um, very well structured. And these are the pre assessment or deal sourcing, the first stage. The second stage is the opportunity assessment and due diligence, the third stage, and deal closing in the final stage. We are testing in this um, uh, research the influence of these stages on the decision making. Uh, effectiveness. So the conceptual form, form, uh, framework is actually consists of uh, four uh, independent variables, which I have stated in the last slide, uh, deal sourcing, opportunity assessment, due diligence, and deal closing, and how these are affecting the uh, dependent variable investment decision making. So this is the uh, conceptual framework which we, are, which we have used on the uh, research paper. 
A quantitative, uh, uh, quantitative uh, case study approach is used to assess uh, the extent of which these stages are affecting the decision making. And we have uh, um, used the data, the data collected uh, uh, through a 12 uh, Likert uh, scale questions, uh, which has been distributed to the, the parties which are involved in the decision making or the departments which has, are uh, in relation to these uh, activities including the investments department, finance, strategy, risk assessment, and management on IFCA group and the subsidiaries. The survey divided into three targeted sections. The first section is aimed to study the extent of the current impl uh, uh, implementation of these practices within the, the group. The second sector, uh, section of this uh, questionnaire is testing or focusing on the pre uh, perceived impact where uh, those uh, respondents will um, uh, see in, uh, in favor of the independent variables and how, how these are affecting the, um, the dependent variables. The third section is uh, to measure um, how much of uh, optimization can, can be done to enhance the performance of the decision-making process within the organization. The data uh, analysis, as we said, uh, we use the quantitative uh, data um, uh, approach where the, 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 the survey was uh, administrated to 55 participants out of uh, 38 respondents were, were received, uh, providing a response rate of 69.1%. Uh, the survey uh, then was subject to a frequency analysis, mean and standard deviation analysis. The analysis is split into the three parts, uh, uh, the parts which we have uh, um, um, explained in the last uh, slide where we have cal calculated the means and the standard deviation uh, and to uh, understand that we analyzed uh, based on these uh, frequency analysis means and standard deviation, the correlation between all of these factors and how they are impacting uh, the uh, dependent variables. Uh, the research finding um, based on uh, the, uh, the, the study was uh, actually driven from the calculation of the frequency percentage and the means and standard deviation for each of the sections and for each of the uh, questions which represent the variables, uh, the, the four variables. So each section has a four questions, each question related to a specific variables and accordingly the calculation of the standard deviation and the means was based on the response of the, uh, the respondents. Uh, same for uh, the uh, second uh, section and the third section, which uh, I will not go through in thoroughly. I will discuss them in this discussion uh, in the next uh, slide. Uh, out of these results, it has been identified that there's um, a good room of improvement uh, in a, a group uh, overall investment results, despite the solid process and procedure currently implemented within the group. However, the uh, room of discussion has been identified by uh, the first section where uh, uh, deficiencies in current implementation practices was perceived by uh, the responses of the survey. Uh, um, again, there is a, a focusing on key, uh, key areas uh, like the initial evaluation or the pre-assessment or the, uh, source, the deal sourcing at the beginning and opportunity assessment could enhance uh, the, uh, the, the process, especially that these stages are very uh, important stages to qualify the best uh, outcome uh, within the process. The higher average of section two and three um, uh, conclude that uh, there is um, a favorable attitude towards making changes to optimize the investment decision, and the current status can be uh, always improved. The findings show the clear acknowledgement of the significance and impact of each phase in the investment decision as the literature have uh, as well stated. So the recommendation firstly, the pre-assessment practice could be uh, enhanced by developing uh, a comprehensive market analysis, a uh, predictive an 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 uh, analytics uh, um, assessments for each deal and a stakeholders feedback whenever uh, assessments is, uh, is carried out. The uh, second recommendation is um, standardizing opportunity assessment criteria where these criteria has to be tested in each of the opportunities and integrative innovative, uh, innovative tools, especially those AI uh, driven tools where uh, they can simplify the analytics uh, out of these uh, 
uh, assessment opportunity assessment and can uh, come up with a, a better results and a better assessment than the uh, traditional tools. Uh, the third recommendation is to uh, enrich the due diligence process through the integration of cross-functional exp uh, expertise uh, to check the, uh, the validity of the information given by the, uh, the, the, the investment uh, party or the, investment, the source of the investment um, uh, team, and this can be assessed by uh, different expertise. And finally, uh, streamly, uh, streamlining the deal closing uh, procedure by in, uh, in, uh, investing in training and technology to ensure that the closing would be in the favor of the uh, company uh, at all stages. Uh, I've used a different references in here. I'm listing the references which I've used. Uh, acknowledgement to uh, Dr. Mohammed Al Jadawi who have uh, uh, supported and supervised uh, this study. And uh, a big thanks to Modern College of Business and Science in Oman for funding uh, this uh, research. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you.